your five hacks to stop spam calls on your iPhone. Now, this article by CBS News, you can see Americans are getting 2.5 billion robocalls a month, the highest level in years. And this was only just published in October of 2025. So you'll be able to see there's tons of spam calls. People average three, four, five, 10, 12, 20 spam calls every single day. I'm gonna show you how to definitely cut that down and get rid of them. But first, if this helps you out, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, the first thing that we'll do on your iPhone is head into the settings app. So open up the settings app and there are certain things in the settings app that will help us reduce those spam calls. And then we'll walk through some other options as well. The first thing you're gonna do is scroll down to the very bottom, tap on apps, and then scroll down until you find the phone option and tap on that. Now within the phone setting of your settings, all we need to do is scroll down and we can make use of a couple different things on here. If I scroll down, what you're looking for is whether you have screen unknown callers and it looks like this. If it doesn't look like this, that's because you haven't updated to iOS 26. So just hop out of that section, actually just go back and back and go up, tap on general and software update. And then just update to the latest version because you need iOS 26 to be able to do all these things. So let's go back here to the beginning, scroll down, tap on apps, and then scroll down until we get to the phone section again and tap on that. Now from here, the couple settings that we're gonna turn on, if we scroll down, you'll be able to see the first thing is screen unknown callers. So this is anybody that calls you that is not in your contacts list or somebody that you have called or accepted a call from. So you can see calls from unsaved numbers will ring and missed calls will be displayed. However, a good option to stop spam calling is either to silence them. This says calls from unsaved numbers, AKA ones that are not in your contacts list, will be silenced, sent to your voicemail and displayed. So you'll still get the voicemail from them. If they leave a voicemail, you can listen to that voicemail and choose to call them back if you want. Or a really new cool feature in iOS 26 is as soon as you get a call from an unknown caller, it will stop and prompt them and say, hey, why are you calling this person? Leave a quick message and I'll try to connect you. So essentially they say, hey, this is John, your plumbing request, I'm here to fix your you know, issue with your dishwasher. And then you can immediately say, oh yeah, that's right, I was calling John, I'm gonna accept that call. However, you'll find a lot of times this will cut down on spam calls because essentially if it is truly a spam, they won't leave any reason and essentially it'll silence those and you don't need to be bothered. Now let's also scroll down because there are other things as well. You can see call filtering here, unknown callers. It says missed calls and voicemail from unknown numbers will be silenced and moved to the unknown callers list. Now, if I turn this on, I'll show you how it works. If I hop out here and open up the phone app, you'll be able to see at the very top right here is a filter icon. You can see everybody that shows up on this list is in my contacts or somebody that I called. However, I can tap on filters here and there you can see unknown callers. So it basically just dumps them all into the unknown caller section. I can tap on that and see all of these and decide whether I want to accept them, whether I want to call them back, etc. But it doesn't kind of clog everything up. Now, back in the settings of your phone, you can see another option is spam. It says calls identified as spam or fraudulent by AT&T, which is the carrier that I have. Again, it will change if you have T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, whatever you might have. It'll say basically that specific carrier and their list of spam calls. So you wanna turn this on as well. Now, a couple other helpful things called blocking and identification. You want to turn on business call identification. This essentially means if that business is registered with Google or with these basically phone companies, it will show up and say, hey, Xfinity is calling you or AT&T is calling you, etc. And then you can also go back and tap on SMS and call reporting. If there is something within here, you can always toggle that on. 
However, keep in mind, all of these are options built into the settings app of your iPhone, and these are really helpful options, especially in iOS 26. But you might also want to open up a web browser. Let's just open up a new tab and type in do not call registry. Now you probably have heard of the do not call registry. It's do not call dot gov. Now keep in mind, if they are spam robocallers, they will just ignore this. This is only for legitimate businesses or political calls or like basically ads to sell you new windows, insurance, etc. So you can just tap on this link and fill it out. What you'll notice here is currently there is a government shutdown as I write this. So it says government shutdown notice. Essentially, come back when the government is back up and running and you can fill out this uh, list or basically fill out this form to be on the do not call list. Now, the next thing I would recommend doing if you're still getting spam calls is there are lots of third party great options. Now, all you need to do is head into the app store and then we can tap on search at the bottom right. Now, all we're going to do is search for spam calls. And then you can see spam call blocker here. If I tap on that, you can see some very big uh, apps here that allow you to block calls. All of the carriers, for instance, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, they all have their own spam call filter or blocker. And you can get those but I would recommend some of the other options. You can see some of the other options get better reviews. RoboKiller at the very top gets great reviews. Another great one is this True Caller. These are third party apps not reliant on your carrier and essentially help you prevent all kinds of spam calls. They have both a free and a paid version. So if you tap download here to install this onto your phone, I'll show you what it looks like and how to set it up. It's really easy. All you need to do is open up that app here and it'll ask for some permissions, essentially to be able to block or spam or block those spam calls rather. So just enter in the phone number and then once you get that code texted to you, keep going and then here I can just hit later. I don't necessarily need to sign up. Now you can see block spam calls. It'll walk you through what it does you can hit continue. And now on here, you'll be able to see it says basically you can pay for it. But at the top left is that little X icon, I can just tap on the little X to get out of this. And I'll get right into the screen. Now you'll be able to see at the top right, it says inactive because I haven't fully set this up yet. So if I tap on that inactive button, it should pop up with the ability to make it active. Right now that is not quite working. But basically, you can just tap on any of these as well and hit continue and share all contacts, microphone access, allow, notification access, allow. Now go through the process and then at the very bottom, blocking preferences. Again, you can hit enable now and now just turn these two on. After you've done that, after you've turned them on, all we need to do is go back into this app here and you'll be able to see it will start to block all of those spam calls. You can just go through this process. Again, you can always fill out this, you can sign in, you can pay for it, but you can also just leave it as the free version and it'll help to block all of those spam calls and help you get the peace of mind that you're only getting the calls that you intended to get.